David said one thing. He said, I was glad when they said unto me, let's go unto the house of the Lord. Why was he glad? Because he knew that if he can only get to the house of the Lord, he will have a breakthrough. Remember the story of uh, that young fellow that they brought to the house of the Lord? I mean, they just heard that Jesus was in the house. In Mark chapter 2, you know the story? Mark chapter 2 from verse 1 to 11. By the time they carried that boy who was paralyzed from neck downwards, I mean, if we're talking of a fellow who had a problem, that young man had a problem. He couldn't move his hands, couldn't move his legs, couldn't feed himself. When they say paralyzed from neck downwards, it means where well, he's breathing, and so we can bury him. And then he heard that Jesus was in a particular house, and his friends carried him there. They just wanted to get into the presence of the owner of the house, the owner of this house now. And they broke the roof when they couldn't get in through the windows, through the doors. And the moment he got to the presence of Jesus Christ, they carried him in, but he walked out. He had his breakthrough. He ceased to be a burden. And I wasn't there, but I, I, can be, I can assure you that fellow never knew any other sorrow for the rest of his life. So I have good news for those of you who came today. You will have your breakthrough. Amen. You will no longer be a body. Amen. You won't know sorrow anymore. Amen. He said, if I can just get into the house of the Lord, I know my breakthrough will come. That's why he said, I was glad when they say, Let's go into the house of the Lord. The truth of the matter is that as far as I am concerned, at the beginning of this year, you were not in my program. <laughs> sure, I knew I would be coming to Manchester. I'd be coming to Manchester for... Uh, FOL and workers rally, and probably on Sunday morning, well, we might have a joint service. But that I will come specifically to this place. It was not in my program, but you know what? It was in God's program. Because known unto him are all his works from the foundation of the earth. And he knew how many of us would be in this place. He knew how many people would be invited and would find one excuse or the other not to come. He knew children who would get permission from school so they can be here. And he went ahead and taught the heart of the teachers not to say no. So you are here because God wanted you to have an encounter. A very, very special one, a unique one that the Almighty God has planned before the earth started. So you have this unique opportunity. And I'm going to ask you to pray to Him for even if it's only five minutes after I've prayed for you to say what, whatever is your purpose for bringing me here today. Let that purpose be fulfilled. So I'm going to pray for you now. My Father, my God, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for this wonderful occasion. Thank you for something you planned before we were born that you are now bringing to pass today. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, because these your children are here, they have already come into the house of the Lord. 
Today, make them glad. Amen. Give each and every one of them a dedication miracle. Amen. That thing that will cause them to remember this day forever, Amen. do it for them today. Amen. And from this moment, Lord God Almighty, let miracles continue to multiply here. Amen. And from here, let a mighty revival break out. Amen. Let it be well with your children. Amen. And even as they cry to you now, Father, I pray, before the sun sets, whatever they ask, let it become a testimony. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Well, let somebody shout a bigger hallelujah. hallelujah. And then now you go to God and talk to him. Just for about five minutes, ask God for something very special. Something only God can do. A dedication miracle. A miracle you won't forget for the rest of your life. Go ahead, talk to God now. <laughs>